Hey, hello everyone, Pally Tom here. Welcome back to Raven's Watch. We've been going through the characters in the game, making kind of a spotlight video for each of them. Today's going to be no different. We're taking a look at Melusine, or as I'm going to say from here on out, the mermaid, because I have no idea if I said that right. Uh, so far, we've taken a look at Pied Piper, Scarlet, and Aladdin, and I really enjoy the playstyle of the mermaid. It is super duper fun. You're basically guiding a wisp around you to deal damage in just about every direction. But while you're doing that, you're going to be stationary. So you have to make sure you're taking care of yourself too. Now, unfortunately, I do think this character has one gigantic drawback. And remember, this game is in early access. So we might see more settings release eventually. I get extremely motion sick playing this, like to the point where I feel like if they were trying to go for the nautical seasickness theme, I feel like they absolutely nailed it. And I'll show you why I think it's happening and what they could do to fix it. But this is our first look at the character. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump into the game. And here we are. She's gonna say something. And fair warning toward you, poor source. Your days here are numbered. Yeah, my days here are numbered too, because I'm only doing one run of this. <laughs> however it goes is however it goes. Uh, taking a look at our mini map before we get started, we have a lot of really good options nearby. I'll probably head for that chest and then make my way up for the extra health. But here are our base abilities. My Q ability swaps my stance. This is my sing stance i also have a swim stance which just means i can move around while we're singing if we left click it will make this guy bounce around if we right click it explodes for damage i mean we don't have to be in that stance to make it happen we could just left click at any time if we hit shift we dive under the ground become immune to damage for a moment and then reappear now here's the problem there's no way to lock the camera around the mermaid so we're constantly going to be kiting away from stuff and then like wiggling my mouse over here and then kiting away and then wiggling my mouse over here. And every time we pull the wisp, the camera jerks as well. And like I said, as far as I know, there's no way to nullify that. It does a number on me. I hope you can avoid it. Dash can be used while in sing stance at a 30% cost, uh, cooldown cost. So increase to our cooldown or deep beat each four attacks hitting an enemy sends a blast all around dealing 100% of our attack With damage. That one sounds really good. We're gonna head to the Southeast to start this runoff. And as you can see, our damage here is actually pretty good and we can stagger enemies very easily. Oh, I didn't show one ability. Our E ability is a straight line skill shot that does a lot of stagger damage so we can get really close to enemies beat them up very quickly and then of course it knocks them away as well so we're able to kite and move away a little bit easier some money planted here right next to us i'll make sure that we grab that and i can literally already feel my stomach in knots oh already it didn't take any time at all <laughs> i think i'm gonna take some pause breaks during this episode. Maybe I have some Dramamine downstairs that I can take. We're getting pretty close to the chest location. We shouldn't have to go too much further now. Yes, this ramp should be the right spot. It is kind of sketchy for me to just dive straight into situations like this where there's a lot of enemies in front of me. I think ideally I kind of kite backwards and fight in choke points that benefit me a little bit more. I'm gonna go under the ground here. Uh, like this situation here, this is looking pretty bad, but if I have everyone coming up the stairs directly at me, then we actually have a lot of control here. I'm gonna dive under, grab that region globe, get myself back up to full health, and then E that elite in the back, taking down its armor. That's level two. Heroes crossed by attack gain an 11 shield for six seconds, or power applies a chill. I like the idea of chilling enemies in front of me. Uh, power deals plus 20% damage. Yes. So power is our right click. Our trait is our Q. Our E is our special. And our shift is our defensive ability. I do wish that was explained a little more clearly. But after a few games, we were able to piece that together. No problem. So now when I right click, it does 20% more damage than it did before. Right click's already kind of the powerhouse of this character. It, it does a, a lot of damage. So making that even better 
is fantastic in my book. There's also like some cursed upgrades for that as well. If we get lucky this run, we might be popping off with those. This is an item shop. We don't need to be there. Basically, if I needed to get some more upgrades, we could do that. Uh, I'm glad that I uncovered it and I'm gonna keep moving. Banshee here, I'm gonna open up with the pushback and then move into the Wisp, diving under to dodge that projectile from this caster. We have our E ability again in just a moment, but all of that stagger damage has already worn off. And I'll just continue to keep trying to dive around these attacks as they are incoming. But it is important that I stay in this form long enough to deal four attacks on the same target so we can get that bonus. E behind the elite now, that's looking great. And these guys are pretty grouped up, but they're about to attack. I can't move. I can't oh God, <laughs> shift was on cooldown. I couldn't break trade for some reason. We're fine. As you can see, one hit there was all it took to put my health in a critical spot. Uh, avoiding damage as the mermaid has to be your number one priority. But if you do get used to dancing around enemies, like look at that stagger damage we did there. That's really respectable, if you ask me. I see some stairs here, some money off to the right. I'll go ahead and grab that. Trees are very scary to fight. Uh, I'm not gonna be moving in fast versus these trees at all. If I have a chance to fight one tree at a time, that's what I'm going to try to do because they have this annoying habit of putting roots immediately behind your character. And I don't know if you've noticed, I can't move very often. So if I have roots right behind me that are keeping me still, that's gonna make my life even more difficult. Good damage over there, and we actually chilled these enemies. That's giving me a lot of room to kite. I wonder if you could combo chill with this character with the Ice Queen. So if you're playing in co-op, you could actually like help set up chills for, for, your, for your buddy, for your friend. Piece of damage there, we managed to stagger the big guy with a hook, and the Wisp is dancing in play. Okay, all right. One thing I did really like that I didn't actually know before, just found out, my Wisp can pick up the region globes for me. So you can see I can get that healing from a safe distance at the very least. Lots of dudes up here at the top. I don't even know what they're protecting yet to know if this is worth my time, but a good E sets off a chain explosion of bodies on the stairs. And this really, I, I think, accentuates my point I was trying to make earlier. If I can control chokes, that is the best place for me to be. That was a raven statue. It's going to show us some money and a chest to the top, right? We also just hit level three. Oh, power leaves a water core at the last location that triggers power again after 1.5 seconds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. The other one also triggered my power. Both of them would have been good. But basically all that means is if I right click, I get more right clicks for right clicking. We also apply chill to enemies. So slowing them down and landing more right clicks should be easy. And if I continue to land my left clicks versus the enemies at the same time, we'll explode for some extra right click damage too. This is actually getting a pretty good explosive synergy so far. I think, anyway. Good knockback on this dude. We'll finish him off there. Looks like more swipey boys up ahead. These guys are problematic. If they get in close, they can deal a lot, a lot of damage. Now, I do think my pacing here is actually pretty good. Uh, level three at the end of the first day doesn't feel bad at all. I don't know if, what my normal pace is, but that feels a bit faster. Our goal is to get strong enough by the end of the fifth day to be able to take down the boss at the end. And well, we're already over halfway there. I mean, maybe uh, leveling up takes more XP every time we do it. I mean, that might be the case. Quick dodge to the side there allows us to avoid a bit of damage, but that spider in the back is gonna cause some trouble. In fact, he's shooting webs at me now. One of the swipey boys does come up and gets put in their place. And I actually have really good line of sight here. At least I thought I did. As we leave our evasive form, I'm going to just shove an E, the waves, the tide directly into this spider. And hopefully, yes, we do avoid that route as well. That was a lot of money that he left here for me. I need a break. 
And we're back. <laughs> I've never experienced this in a game before where my like especially outside of VR. I did have problems in VR with motion sickness, which is one of the reasons that, you know, I kind of got away from it. Feeling queasy doesn't feel good, and I was basically inducing queasiness to myself to play some video games that I didn't even need to play in VR. Like I was playing Skyrim in VR. I could just play Skyrim and it would be a fine experience. Uh, we are kiting quite a few enemies over here this time, so I do need to be careful. But some quick moves get me out of that skill shot. We're trapped now. I tried to hide underwater, and it looks like it did work, at least momentarily. But these enemies don't seem to be slowing down. In fact, I don't even know what these guys are even doing down here. This is a big problem. Uh, there's a chance that I could have them, yes, this might work, have them kite back up towards the chest and I might be able to just wither the storm here, pun kind of intended. Uh, going to the side, we are weakened. Region Global, heal me. We avoid that webbing. Very good damage with the E and those explosions in the checkpoint. And the fact that I'm chilling any enemy that comes into my area of influence actually means these guys are stacking up more than I'm used to as well. I decided to hold my ground and just break the the power, the stance bar of that Banshee with my E, and that was a very effective clear there. Uh, more armor, more power damage, yes please. The critical regeneration healing would have been very good as well, but we're already leaning into our power being the powerhouse of this build. We might as well make it even better i need another break hold on after this tree dies Woo! all right here goes here here we do here i, I got this <laughs> there's only 20 minutes left of this run i'm sure this is fine i'm sure this is fine uh looks like we do have an optional boss here i don't know if i'm feeling that cocky just yet did they tuck anything up here into the corner looks like a little bit of money that i can just smash and grab but then i didn't grab it i just smashed hold on we actually have a pretty good grouping here i'll try to hold right here e into this guy to make sure he's dead yeah we really do have a lot of control with that slow added in that's very very fun uh, the Raven statue that we got earlier, I think, revealed some of the stuff in the middle of the map for us. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with the Raven did it. Otherwise, I have to admit that I have been too nauseous to look at the mini map, and maybe that's on me. Another boss event here. Wow. Uh, I'm going to try to just dive under right beneath these guys and keep moving i don't feel a need to fight them there i don't want to do that objective so i don't need to waste any of my time fighting there however this objective is pretty important to me i'm going to start with an e on the banshee wait for her aoe and then try to burst in as much damage as i can that's all i could get before those projectiles started coming for me uh, and there are more of those and more banshees on the way it looks like this is some kind of undead haven here Oh, bro, I thought I outsmart them. <laughs> I thought they went around the other way or something for a second. I was like, oh, that was brilliant. I'll just loot this and then leave. Diving under, trying to avoid the horrify. I need more damage on the one that's almost already staggered. And we got it. That explosion is huge. And we stagger the other one just in time to loot the chest. Reduce def defense cooldown. Gain one power charge. Yes. Okay, this build is actually coming online. Defense triggers power effect with a 25% damage increase. So when we dive under the water, our right click is going to do even more damage than what we've already been upgrading it to do. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Ooh, bonus health here could be huge. Maybe I will try the boss. Last episode, we completed our very first quest on stream. Maybe I could try to complete my very first extra boss event. So here's the bonus health. We have it. There's another one confirmed on the map that we can go to as well. And we are officially halfway through this run. The boss is going to spawn. <laughs> the end of day five. 
Okay. So these are healers. They got to go. Just focus some damage in there to start things off. Looks like there's also quite a few swappy boys here. But our right-click damage made quick work of that healer. Our knockback kept them away. And this chill here inside the right-click looks like it's doing enough damage. Now, a Cthulhu monster did spawn out of the ground. He's about to do a bunch of stuff if we don't stagger him. There's the stagger into my knockback. And... Whoa! I did it! What do we get? 300 dream shards, that'd be very good. Improve a random upgrade four times. Oh, that sounds fun. What did we what did we upgrade? <laughs> I think there's a way to check. Aftershock! Oh my god, our right-click explosion just got better. That's so good. That's so good. If that was that easy, I need to try the other boss event. Hold on. Here we go. To the east, we have a raven statue nearby it already. We already uncovered this area. Let's try it again. I think our, our damage is really, really good. I've never breezed through one of those quite like that. Maybe my issue is... Oh, God, it's trees. Okay, that was as much damage as I could do. Unfortunately, my E ability still had me rooted. But, um... Wow, that massive clear save... That was it? That was it? That was it? Improve a random upgrade three times. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god! Our defensive ability to spawn power orbs just got upgraded. Okay, we're going back to the north. I'm gonna go southwest from here after I pause the game and breathe for a minute. Alright, here we go. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying today's video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. We've been doing spotlights for every character just like this one, if you haven't seen the other ones. Although, unlike the other ones, I don't have crippling motion sickness when I play them. I hope they figure out this camera thing. I love the play style of this character. I just literally can't. I literally can't. Uh, this is an event that if we clear it, we will be able to reduce the maximum HP of the boss by about 20%. That target we took down there was a healer, and I'm going to focus my damage on another one of those healers right now. E knock back into one of the slashy boys, takes them down to size. And now I should be able to finish off this one. Basically, with these slashy guys, you just need to wait for them to charge. And then once they do, just get out of their way. Once you're out of the way, they're pretty much harmless. They'll stand still and just channel for quite a long time. They kind of light up when they are aggroed. And then they you can see they just stand still for a while after that. Oh, I need to move some skill shots coming in from the healer. And they do travel forward. So just walking backwards from them like I did there doesn't seem like it's enough avoidance. You have to make an effort to get behind them or out of the way. I'm going to start with an E and then do a bunch of right clicks on this first spider, staggering him immediately. I'm then going to use my defensive right next to him so I can drop another one of my power orbs immediately. I'm trapped here. That's pretty scary. Let me try to knock down a spider. That might work. We dive under for a power orb there. They're both staggered now and look at that right click damage. Go! We got another upgrade, Water Bomb. This is my ultimate ability, and it is a very big explosion. The boss is now going to be weaker as a result of our efforts here, and I'm going to continue to explore this northern area now. Nice roots grabbed me. I didn't think I was in range for that. Wait, do we have a key? We don't have a key. This is an additional boss. I've never done one of these successfully. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. I mean, if I could find the keep. I'm kind of roaming around just hoping I stumble across it. I don't know if there's a better way. Of... There it is. Perfect. So if I clear out these enemies. Thank you for that region globe, little guy. As you can see, clearing them out won't take too long at all, will it? Bro, the fact that my right click deals less damage than my shift now is a little weird to get my head around. And that's OP as shit. I can loot that gold over there without actually getting near the spider. I think I did get a little close to him with my orb. But he didn't aggro. He didn't come over. 
All right, let's see how this is. This is timed. I only have two minutes to do it, so we are gonna have to hustle. And it looks like this guy does have a fair amount of armor as well. I'm gonna dive under, hit him with my E. That should be a stagger. And now we'll just stack up as much damage here as we can. Holy moly. Now this is the ad phase. The boss is gonna disappear for a little while. If we're not careful, this phase can go on for too long and basically eat up all of our timer. But I don't think that's gonna be an issue today. Whoa! No, I don't think that's gonna be an issue at all. Boss, where are you? My E ability's coming off cooldown right now. Oh, he dodged it. That was a pretty good move, actually. Diving under for a more powerful right click. We've almost broken through. Out of the way. There's the stagger. I didn't even use my ult. I probably could have there and it would have been a good idea. Now, hey, that's not fair. I cleared the event. I shouldn't be in combat. Well, it looks like they're sorting it out more or less. <laughs> that guy went for the hook and that still didn't even work. You can't do it. The staggered damage is just too high. Oh, here we go. Power deals 100% damage, but has a 50% increased cooldown. I think that's fine, considering we have two charges. I think that's fine. And we can splash AoE damage with just our left click, and we can spawn an additional power with our shift. Now, does our shift right click also, does our shift additional spawn also come with more damage? And do these extra orbs that fall down also deal more damage? I kind of think the answer is yes. I'm able to two-shot these enemies here. That is insanely strong. Okay, jumping in on the totem here if I can. These healers don't even stand a chance. This is the strongest I have ever been in this game. Like, hands down, nothing has come close to this yet. I am chunking. Oh, look at this, another event too. We can lower the boss's health again. I almost one-shot the damn thing. Skip, 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 skip. Now, because we did one of these earlier, this one will be more difficult, but we've already taken down one of the slashy boys. Another one falls. That was really good damage there. We are gonna have some more difficult enemies spawning in this next wave but we do still also have our ult. We're on the final day of the game, so the boss is going to be spawning soon. I do need to keep that in mind. I might want to save my ult for that. That's what we usually do. Uh, but I don't think my ult's imperative to the boss fight or anything. I think it'd be, we'd be okay. Uh, I'm gonna shift away, diving under to spawn that orb next to this spider. Big right clicks do stagger it out, and by E, finishes off the slashy boy as they were coming towards us. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and ult here on both of these. <laughs> oh God, both of these spinny guys. With that, I was able to stagger one. Let me dive under. He didn't see me dive. I'm not sure what happened. It's like his target reset. If I move quick, I can get out of the way, but we actually staggered him before he charged. Oh, hold on. <laughs> so we've taken 40% health off of the boss. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There is an HP increase I'm going to walk down to. Uh, actually, it might be better if I teleport. Will I be stuck if I'm in combat? I am. Okay. I actually need you guys to hurry. We have plenty of time. It's not like I was caught off guard by the clock. But I do need to hurry. There's a lot of ads that spawn when you're fighting the spiders and the trees. Okay. So with this, I'm going to teleport to the main store. This is where we began the game at. And I'm gonna be able to upgrade some of my powers with the money that we found on this run so far. We're at $566 right now. So I can make our right clicks deal more damage, uh, max that out. We could also increase the chill if we wanted to. Uh, literally our entire build is maxed. I've never had that before. We are max rank every single ability that we have found on this run so far. That is insane. Oh my God. There is some extra money here, but like, what am I gonna spend it on? I don't know what to spend this on. Oh, I need another minute. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Almost done. We're, all, we're almost done. <laughs> I can do it. 
<laughs> I can do it. Uh, I'm just going to try to get this bonus health. Uh, that was my plan. I wasn't expecting to have my shop experience go as well as it did. So um, we got here a bit faster than I thought, too. I don't have time to complete that quest. That's going to take literally five minutes. Uh, what I could do instead is just try to explore these nearby areas and see if I can spot something else to do. Uh, alternatively, I could have um, spawned the boss and just kind of tried to end the run a little bit early, but I've only gotten one health increase so far. I would like another one. Alternatively, I could teleport down to this little shop thing here and try to spend the last of my money, but I think I would only get one upgrade for it. Uh, I think they cost like 150 each. Uh, this will be something up here, and it's probably the last something I'm going to do. Is there nothing to loot? Why, you guys have a really nice place for something that isn't lootable. My god, our damage is nuts. That is nuts. Seriously, there's nothing to loot? <laughs> this looks like a place that would house a chest or something. Looks like maybe this is something. Oh, it's a raven statue. So this would just reveal the map around me, which, you know, not, not, not super useful at the moment. Considering the run's over, there might be some extra health nearby. There's a there's a chit. <gasps> Look how close I was to that health and the other one. Literally, I just missed them both by pixels being shown on the map. That's upsetting. Well, we're back here. I'm going to buy some increased critical hit chance and critical hit damage. And that is our clear. Now, is it enough? to take down the boss. I think it will be. Honestly, with the damage that we're putting out, I might be able to kill this boss in one go. Our damage is crazy good. Oh my God, our damage is crazy good. Okay, dodge there. Oh, I didn't mention it, but we do still have our normal character dodge like every other character has. I just kind of took that for granted that you would assume it was there. Decent damage. Now, here's one caveat. Because our right clicks have a bigger cooldown, if I want to take out the boss in a single event, I am going to have to make sure that I have both charges of our right click. So is this the last tentacle here? It is. So I have to kill this tentacle with, with left clicks. Ouch, I didn't move out of that at all. Uh, that was actually my damage ability that I was going to save. That was my defensive ability. Here's my ult. Isn't it up? No, it's not, but it was still pretty good. <laughs> well, pressure's off. We could just totally breeze right through this now. That region globe will bring me back up to a good amount of HP. Another barrage from the boss will just hide in plain sight right in between his projectiles. That damage is starting to hurt. We didn't even get all of the max health increases, though. And we're living through that just fine. I'm kind of surprised by that, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll sit back here. Beautiful. And that's going to do it for our run today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It was a difficult one to make for reasons I've never experienced before. <laughs> uh, there is more content to come in the game. I just wanted to show off the original cast of characters while we could. Um, I think I did three times the amount of damage I did on Scarlet and on Aladdin. I took about a third less of the damage as well. This run was incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon.